Hi everyone, my name is Ali Sami and I am 17 years old. My entire talk is about football and especially how can football change path. So, is football a bad and a violent game that these doors is this dangerous and pernicious game must be prohibited as the declaration by the Church of France in 1842 said, does football withdraw us from godliness as one of the most popular English writers, Philip Stops wrote in his book Anatomy of Abuses? Okay. In, ancient, in ancient times, there were, uh, football was a civil war between villages, but this happened between the 14th century and the mid 19th century. But after that, the way you looked at football seemed to change and became the way we see it now. But uh, so, what has it changed? Why is this huge love and why is this huge fame and admiration? It may seem very strange, but football has extinguished a lot of wars and also had mitigated a lot of conflict resolution. I will list you a small story that would make you love football and understand why this huge fame and admiration. The first story is in Brazil, but let me first ask you something. Could Brazil's World Cup defeat change national politics? Okay, the first football matches don't just determine orders, they can spark wars and set elections. It always proves that it's not just a game. Brazilians whooped for national pride as their team lost its victory in the semi-final of the World Cup and the shameful result could cause further upset. In the first match, and as Germany wrapped up 5 goals in the first half of an hour, Obsense chanting against President Dilma Rousseff rebuilt through the stadium for the first time from the beginning. And Brazil spent an estimated 6.6 billion on the tournament and their fears that the loss could hurt the chances of President Dilma Rousseff in re-election in October. So, the, sea, the opposition seemed to fade as the, the World Cup played out successfully and there was even a speculation that Rousseff would see a boost in public, in public support. And also, uh, the, the, pre, the former president, uh, former president, president Fernando Cardoso, credited 1994 win with his uh, economic, with, with the win of his economic plane and uh, presidential election. So, after such a crushing defeat, could Brussels lose now swing national sentiment against the sitting president? Of course, yes. The second story is in Mexico. Mexico is a country who suffered from the proliferation of drug cartels who mainly run the country, and nearly 15,000 people die each year because of gang violence. But as it turned out, football, especially Javier Chicharito Hernandez, the famous Mexican player, he had the club to provide a new life in every time he advanced to the stadium and in 2012, the anti-drug weapon was Sir Alex Ferguson, the coach of Manchester United. Yes, when he ordered the small bees, as they, as they call him in Mexico, to the Red Eagles. And in the words of the expert man, uh, the expert uh, policeman in Mexico City, crimes such as uh, uh, robbery and thieves are getting down and it seems that the criminals want to take a vacation uh, to see our hero play. It seems very strange, I agree with you, but, but football can do more than that. The third story is in Germany. After the Second World War, Germany has torn apart and dived into three countries, East Germany and West Germany and Switzerland. And at the same time, the West Germany displayed their football prowess and won three World Cups while only, while East Germany qualified for only one. And in 1990, the West the Germans lose their qualification to the World Cup, but the, the sense of brotherhood and the love of the game bring millions of people together from both together to encourage to encourage the, the West Germans who will continue to uh, win the World Cup. And finally. Thank you to football, its synthesis and the ability to win, Germany has finally become one country. And from that time, Germany's slogan is if you want to go, you will not go alone. If you want to go, if you want to go away, we, we will go together. So do you expect that without a doubt this was, was had happened? I don't think so. In 2005, every coast was broken by civil war that was tearing its people apart. The White Elephants qualified for the World Cup 2006 and did the Europa continue to prove that football was not an issue of futility. After qualifying for the World Cup, the Europa continued to heal the broken nation, pick up a microphone and get down its knees 
and big. An African country with many riches shouldn't be at war. Please, lay down your weapons and call for election. Everything will be better. He added, he, he added we want to have fun, so stop firing your guns. And in the most, most important periods that every coast was experiencing problems and at the request of their, pre, uh, of their president, uh, they demanded Drogba, they obliged to demand Drogba doing that. And within a year, the president announced that the civil war has ended. Finally, did Drogba and football succeed in stopping the civil war? And finally, and after all four stories, do you agree with the, one of the most popular English writers, George Orwell, who see that the football now carry the same seeds of hurt that existed in the 14th century or agree with me that see that football worthy of love, fame and admiration. I'm really hoping that I could approve to you that. Thank you.